we're looking forward to welcoming back the beautiful weather and all of our patients to Cosmoplastic Surgery. It's been a fantastic few days of being able to get back outside and enjoy the spectacular display of flowers and trees and the gorgeous weather out there. And having had a chance to reflect back over the past six weeks, starting with our initial phase of concern about our patients, uh, health, our practice, our community, to now understanding and being engaged as to what the next steps should be and reflecting even more beyond our communities to what it means for our entire planet and how we want to behave moving forward. I came across this beautiful poem by Raina Maria Rilke that I wanted to share with you that really brings back the focus of what is the most important about what we've learned, which is bringing back our com commitment and devotion to our family, uh, to our neighbors, uh, to the larger community. I've even learned to take pictures of my family now, six feet apart for family portraits. Uh, I feel fortunate that I've had the chance to spend more time with my kids who are at home during the day and do school projects of various sorts with them. And it's also been fun uh, driving in New York and uh, competing with horses, I never thought, uh, with regards to the traffic on the streets of New York. And of course, uh, in the past two decades, I always thought about the surgical mask as the only means of protecting myself and now I see there's many, many types of masks out there and I'm even uh, amazed at the wide array of fashionable masks that I see on the streets. So I wanted to just bring everyone to our phase one of our practice as we reintegrate the patients and ask you to come in. Uh, uh, we're gonna be uh, mapping out a very exact protocol and I would like you to spend some time on our website reading uh, what the requirements are as you come back in for non-urgent and elective cases. Come to the office, uh, we ask you to be in the car. We actually will call you. We'll have you come individually. Uh, and obviously we want you to have uh, masks and gloves and be covered. On our end, we practice what's called universal uh, precautions, uh, which we employ with any kind of a scenario. Obviously in the operating room, we do that all the time but now we're also do that outside the operating room. What that means is that we have a hat, we have eye shields, we have a mask, we have gloves, and we also have a gown and shoe covers. So that essentially there's a complete coverage so that there's uh, no risk of transmission between the two parties. All of our healthcare workers and all the staff follow these universal precautions. You've heard about the personal protection equipment, but essentially there's a bigger idea of the universal precaution that's practiced within the medical setting. And of course, every procedure and between every procedure, there is terminal cleaning that happens. And those are again, the same rules that we always employ uh, when we sterilize an operating room and all the instruments. And we're now we're employing that above and beyond that step. Uh, there's a question with regards to patients who believe that uh, they should be holding off to do any kind of elective surgery. Uh, scientifically, there's no uh, evidence that shows that uh, elective surgery should be delayed. There's no increased risk of getting COVID just from having a surgery. So it's very important for you and we will ask you to take your own temperature. Uh, and if you've been exposed to anyone uh, within your environment within the preceding 14 days to let us know. Uh, we're available if you have any more questions and uh, I'm also gonna be taking you through what we do with uh, the testing that's gonna be coming up. The next stage of testing is gonna be the, the antibody testing. So we'll have a more deeper dive conversation about that as well. We wanna thank all of our patients and the community who supported us through the past six weeks. Our little patients who've written notes to us and have always been inspirational as well as our hospital patients and my team at the hospital who's been there and been strong throughout. My family, my kids who have kept me going with their little notes and drawings and phone calls. And of course our community, which as the epicenter of this pandemic has remained strong. 
All of us at Cosmoplastic Surgery miss you, and we very much look forward to seeing you very soon. <laughs>